Today I am going to record a content, a con I'm going to record a content. Great start. Great start, Chess. Today I am going to record a content <laughs> in a medium that I've never recorded content in before. Specifically, VR 180. And I'm actually going to do a, a video that I've wanted to do for a long time, a, a bit of a uh, an all-in-one review and uh, I'm glad I held off from actually making it because now I'm going to be able to make it filmed with a VR 180 camera meaning it will be just like a normal video if you're not wearing a headset it'll be cropped and still and just you know very watchable but you can also slap it into uh, a really affordable VR headset like a Daydream or a cardboard or whatever and watch it in VR 180 which looks magic. This is the VR 180 camera it's called the the Yi Her it's upside down the Yi Horizon. I need to hold it more carefully because I feel like I'm probably going to break it with the uh, lack of coordination that I tend to have. But uh, as you can see, it has two lenses and they're about an eye distance apart from one another. They record in a really wide angle and stitch together the two separate images so that when you watch it in a VR headset, it matches up with your eyes and you actually see depth and, and like you're, you're there. It's crazy. So 360 video, I can take it or leave it. And I've seen loads of 360 video. I feel like it was a bit of a fad. I'm really hoping that this thing, so this, this kind of VR content catches on as far as the more consumable VR content, uh, because it's really watchable. It's like, like you feel like you're there. Like it's amazing. We did a sample video with that thing where we just recorded it. And even though we didn't know how to get it like good quality yet, and we're going to learn that stuff, just putting on the headset and seeing my Myself in the studio and being in the studio watching myself in the studio was really trippy so uh, I'm gonna do that but first I'm gonna gather all my VR headsets line them all up and get ready to talk about VR I've actually been keeping a bunch back here that I intended to save for this video so that's a cardboard so I can sort of demonstrate how that works what's this this is a Alex I think I got that for 20 bucks from Kmart uh, again just more like cardboard cheap ones just to show you how you really can just get the cheapest crappest VR headsets and watch VR 180 content and then I'll go into high-end VR uh, as well so I got a whole bunch of examples just because they cost between two and twenty dollars uh, and it'll be a good chance to sort of go through it all and give my opinions I'm not entirely sure what the uh, audio on this thing is like so I'm just gonna mount my zoom H4n which has a really nice like inbuilt stereo audio recorder right, what do we got I'm a bit of a collector uh, I've got a bit of an obsession. So this is the OG HTC Vive uh, and the Vive Pro. I'm going to be sharing my thoughts on those. I have an Oculus Rift Plus Touch. I'll be sharing my thoughts on this. They all have really interesting pros and cons. I don't want it to be a really long drawn out video. I want to just smash through all the the positives and negatives so people can sort of get a feel for what they want but I, I like the idea that it comes out you know in the three months before the end of the year so leading up to Christmas people will be like ah oh, if I got one what could I afford what can I do on it would it be cool because I got my PSVR for Christmas last year and I love it like it's awesome but again there are some just things to know so I'll go through all of that and I've got all my cheapy deepies over here Right. Ain't that a thing of beauty? Look at them all lined up. Oh my god. I have a serious problem. <laughs> I love it! Anyways, alright, I'm ready to go. I've got my VR 180 camera set up. As you can see, it's got quite a wide angle on it by default. And when this video comes out, which will probably be a little over a month from now, to be honest, uh, you guys will be sitting right here in my studio when you put on your little VR 180 headsets. Again, it can be as cheap as a Google Cardboard for you to experience joining me in my studio and uh, just sort of seeing what it's all about. But anyways, this is gonna be your seating position and this is gonna be mine. So I better, uh, better get started. Testing. <clears throat> G'day ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Draw With Jazza. I'm Jazza and this may look like an episode of My Strange Addiction, but really this is going to be my go-to guide for VR headsets for you guys for this year, 2018. Especially because we're coming up to the Christmas holidays. So, next order of business is actually recording some B-roll with VR 180. I shouldn't... I, I'm so like... 
uncoordinated and I keep just leaning this thing against random stuff and just juggling it badly but I can't afford for this thing to break so I should probably be more careful. So what I'm going to do is set up my Vive and Oculus Rift. I've recorded B-roll with the PlayStation VR I'm just going to do the same with those things in here. Let me just turn the lights on. Uh, basically the idea is I'll talk about the headsets as I show them in front of my desk with that setup I had but then I'll also in the video fade away to showing the the um, headsets in use just to sort of give an idea as to how they work. The best part about recording b-roll for the VR video is uh, I get to finally play some VR games. So that was a bit of fun. I don't often get to play VR, but I mean, admittedly, I only got to play it for about 15 minutes. I'll take what I can get. <laughs> I'm going to wrap up with a question of the day, uh, which I'll take from Matty Island, who says, are you guys excited for BB, Baked Bean, which is the nickname I gave to our upcoming baby, BB. Um, oh, very excited. It's a week and a half away. A week and a half, and there's going to be a new human life in this household it's it's amazing and crazy <laughs> and surreal but we're very excited and i know kate definitely feels like she's ready for the whole pregnancy thing to come to an end it's not a fun process for her anyways thank you all so much for joining me today i hope you guys uh, have enjoyed the vlog i it was just a fairly short one because i did spend half the day off at a doctor appointment with kate for the upcoming baby so yeah just a short and sweet one today thanks for watching guys i'll see you next week